good job. You started it. <laughs> it's working. It's working. Yay. Hi, guys. Hello. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's been a long time since we made a video, huh? So, quickly, um, while we have a minute, I wanted to update you guys on what in the world is going on in our lives. It's been like a month since we've updated a video. Hi, Neely. <laughs> um, and we are currently in a hotel room living here. Um, it's a joy living in a hotel. That's a joke. It's not a joy. It's not very much fun. It's, it's kind of miserable. Tight. It is. It's pretty miserable. And we even have a sweet, supposedly, but still. It's not very sweet. Um, <laughs> but anyways, here's what's going on because everybody is so confused. We are not living in our fifth wheel, as you can tell. We're living in a hotel room. And here's the deal. Living in a fifth wheel was a lot of fun, and we loved it. It was so perfect for us, the size, everything. It worked really well for us. However, moving that thing around was so much stress. And you guys saw part of it, but a lot of it we didn't share with you. Um, but, I mean, it was just one thing after the other of things just going wrong and just stressful. And at that point, we had done everything, like visited places that we had wanted to go. And Mike was supposed to be getting a temp job or a traveling job because he's um, a physical therapist. And so he was supposed to be getting a traveling job, but they couldn't find any anywhere. And um, don't push the button, buddy. Don't touch the button. <laughs> um, anyways, and the lady that we were working with kind of, to put it nicely, um, made things very difficult for us. And <laughs> um, we ended up not finding a temp job. We went back to our parents' house and hung out there for a while, parked our fifth wheel there. Um, you two are awful. <laughs> uh, anyways... <laughs> and eventually we put our fifth wheel on a consignment lot because we wanted to still travel. We wanted to go new places, but it it would have cost us more money than we had in our bank account to move that thing to where we wanted to go. So we put it on consignment and we loaded up everything in a fifth wheel. Mike got a permanent job in Texas. And so we hauled all of our stuff down here to Texas. And so we are currently living in Texas, going to be living here full time from now on. So we hauled it in a U-Haul, not a fifth wheel. Oh, sorry, but sorry. <laughs> now she's really trying to give my pregnancy me. brain just is not working. <laughs> um, we put it in a U-Haul and hauled it down here, and are living in a hotel until we find a place to rent. Um, so, anyways, I want to make this clear because everybody is like so disappointed that we aren't living in the fifth wheel anymore. The whole point of this. Like, living in a fifth wheel, like, he keeps kicking this and it's wiggling. Mm -hmm. um, the whole point of this whole year, this adventure, was to find somewhere that we wanted to live. That's the only reason that we did it. We wanted to have an adventure and to live somewhere new and find new places that we would want to live. And we kind of did. <laughs> um, he is so wiggly. <laughs> Um, the point wasn't to live in a fifth wheel. That wasn't our goal. Our goal wasn't to live in a fifth wheel. We just thought it would be a good... Um, means of traveling while we visited places and saw where we wanted to live. Um, we really love Texas. We came here in April and we both felt like it was somewhere that we would want to raise our family and live. So we're going to try it out for a year and see if we love it here, love living here as much as we are hoping that we will. If not, well, then we'll head back home and it's not that big of a deal. Dude, <laughs> you keep wiggling the camera. Um, so anyways... I hope you guys aren't disappointed. No, do not push that red button. <laughs> I hope you guys aren't disappointed because we definitely aren't. We're excited for this new adventure. Um, we loved living in the fifth wheel. It was a great, fun adventure, and we would have still been living in it if it weren't for the stress of hauling it around and moving it around. Um, that part was just too much for me. Okay, get off. You are too wiggly. <laughs> Anyways, so, yeah. Don't be disappointed. We are still very excited for this adventure. We're living somewhere very strange and foreign to us. And um, we don't have... My sister lives like four hours from here. But other than that, we don't have any family here. So we're roughing it alone. So we're excited though. It'll be fun. And Mike has a new job down here that we're really excited about. And it'll just be fun. It'll be a fun adventure. So anyways, our computer crashed. It's sitting... 
right over there. <laughs> um, it's totally crashed, so we have absolutely no way of uploading videos except for on phones and Mike's new company iPad that we're using right now. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, we apologize for the lack of being present, but if you guys go like us on Facebook, we post a lot of pictures and updates of what we're doing and where we're at on there. Um, so go Google Door to Health on Facebook and you guys will find us on there. Or Mike and Brighton Rankin. No, I don't want them liking our personal pages. Oh, wait. Did we re rename it Mike yeah. and Brighton? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. It's that pregnancy brain again. I'm well, we, re backup. we renamed it from Door to Health to Mike and Brighton, so whatever. Just find us. Anyways. Thumb sucker. Do you have anything else to say? Um, life's crazy. <laughs> it is. It changes on by the moment. And it's great to have a wonderful partner <laughs> to get through it all. It's tough sometimes to No, adjust. it's not. It is tough. It's fun. Yeah. To a new job, but it's fun because mm -hmm. there's new stuff. It's never boring, that's for sure. It's so. true. Yep. Anyways, that's all. For those of you who um, are curious, I'm 11 weeks pregnant now. Our due date was moved to June 21st. So, getting over morning sickness, that's good news. But we're doing mm -hmm. really well. And I think that's all. <laughs> Do you want to say goodbye, yeah. little thumb sucker? Can you say bye? Bye. Can you push the red button? Oh, wait. Maylee wants to say goodbye. Come say goodbye. Bye-bye. You silly girl. All right, buddy. Push the red button. <laughs>